Welcome back. The percentage of high school football players that has an opportunity to play major college football is incredibly small. It takes equal amounts of skill, luck, and timing. To make it from a tiny high school in Nevada to Texas A&M is almost impossible. But there is one Aggie named Mark Dodge who proves that nothing is impossible. This is what Mark Dodge looked like three years ago. He was a member of the Honor Guard, all of whom are tall, six feet or bigger, all of whom are physically fit, all of whom are motivated. There was about ten guys in my company that were watched. There was two of us that made it at the end. They, they make sure you have high PT scores and high uh, book scores and all that stuff to make sure you fit the right build to go into the Honor Guard. The Honor Guard is a ceremonial platoon, as old as the Army itself. First platoon is actually the president from marching platoon, and they did all that stuff. I, I got selected right in there because I was over six foot two. You got to be tall to be in there. I was actually one of the shorter guys. That is Mark, just a few feet from the president and first lady. Some ceremonies require colonial attire, including wigs. Mark is second from the right. During his time in the guard, on a picture perfect September day in 2001, he was at the Pentagon filling out some paperwork. It was the 11th day of September, a day none of us will forget. War trade center just blew up. Nobody was expecting it at all. When it hit us, we kind of, I mean, it, it shook the building. The alarm started going off. People started kind of looking around and and they started saying over the intercom, you know, we move your way to the exits. So everybody started going out to the exits. He went back to his company, and for the next several weeks, his job was anything but ceremonial. His job was to sift through the rubble in search of survivors. We weren't really messing with the bodies at first. We were trying to find anybody that could still be alive or, or like that. We, did, we sort of didn't start doing rest like uh, operations to, to do, you know, to pull out the bodies or anything until, I don't know, two or three days later. I didn't even thinking really about what had happened until probably two or three weeks after we were done. And then I kind of had a, a breakdown and, you know, I cried for a little bit and kind of realized what I had just went through. It was the first of many breakdowns. To this day, he has nightmares. The dream is always the same, always horrible. So we pulled the body out, but in the dream, while I was getting this body out by myself, it had came alive. And, and always at that point when it opened its eyes, it kind of grabbed me and it would wake me up. So it, I, it was just a, something that would, you know, it just freaks you out. Now Mark Dodge is living another dream. He is playing college football at Texas A&M. He played juco ball in California after leaving the Army. He played so well that he caught the attention of several major colleges, including A&M. He made an official recruiting visit to College Station last September. I got to go to midnight yell practice and kind of see how it was down there, and that was a huge tradition that kind of brought me in. I couldn't believe they had 30,000 people just for a midnight yell thing. It was, it was nuts. I mean, it just kind of made, made the hair stand up on the back of your neck. His military background made him appreciate A&M. But wait, there's more. My aunt actually went to Cal Poly, which is kind of the sister school here, and she went through ag there and, and did all that. She wanted to come here, and all she ever talked about was trying to come here, and then I ended up here, so she's kind of jealous about that. <laughs> He got to College Station in January, so he was assigned a roommate who also started midterm. Cody Byer is a wide receiver from Smithson Valley. Cody graduated early to get to A&M for spring practice. He is 18. Mark is 25. The first thing, I saw pictures of him, and I was like, what is this guy going to be like? You know, he's been in the Army. He's done. He's 25. He's been through everything. When I met him, it was just... It's made so, everything so much easier for me here. On the field, they are both new players just finding their way. The age difference really hits home when you consider what Cody was doing on 9-11. Oh, I remember the day I was sitting in eighth grade, English class, writing a paper. I was actually researching for my paper. Most of the players know Mark's story. He'll talk about it, figuring that that is a better way to get it out of his system than through bad dreams. And if all goes according to plan, he will soon be a nightmare for opposing quarterbacks. Keep an eye on number 
50 this fall. And tomorrow night, our spring...